Alright, welcome to today's video. Today's video will be an overview of my 75 gallon deep blue tank. So enjoy the video. Alright, so where to even start with this tank? This tank has been up for about a year and four months. It hasn't always looked this good. I've been through a lot of downs, a lot of battles with this tank, but after almost throwing in the towel, giving up, I have found a way to just continue fighting. I guess it's just my love for this hobby. And let's just go ahead and get into this overview. This is a 75 gallon deep blue tank, as I said in the beginning. It's a rimless tank with a center overflow on deep blues satin black stand. What I have lighting the tank currently is two Aqua Illumination Hydra 26's on their HMS mounting kits. And let's go ahead and open these doors up and show you what's underneath it, running and filtrating this tank. All right, so I apologize in advance if it's a little bit shaky, but I have the camera in my hand. And I'll be moving and filming. This is my current setup. It's jam packed. It's all crammed in there. And it's not pretty. It's dirty. But that's what we're working with right now. I plan to do some big upgrades to this. I need I, I just need a bigger sump. It's too small. And I got too much going on for this little bit of space. But I'm making do for now. All my plumbing is schedule 80. I put as many unions and ball valves as I could for upgrades in the future, which I do plan on doing. This sump is the R100. It's great if you have a tight space you're trying to work in, but I have plenty of space and I need something bigger. Um, yeah, like I said, this is meant to be for tight spaces and it just doesn't work for me but we got the water draining in here to one four inch by 14 inch filter sock I have two thermometers one with the water coming from the tank temp and one for in here in the refugium because I have the heater in here in the refugium I have the heater and a power head to kick up any detritus because before a lot of the detritus was getting stuck in this area and yes that is money cap growing in my refugium beneath this beautiful Kessel Tuna Flora A80 because it'll grow corals but it will not grow that's my pitiful piece of chato it will not grow chato but if you want to grow corals and you have a small little nano tank, that light might be perfect. But for refugium light, it is not optimal. All right, so over here in the skimmer section, we have eShop's X160. I just cleaned the neck and I cleaned the skimmer cup. That's why there's some floating around pieces and the skimmer is in full. But it, as you can see, it's nice and foamed up and it is doing its job. Also, I have another little seat shape pump in here that is pumping two, two Aquamax um, media reactors. Um, this one right here is the carbon reactor and the other one is for the GFO. Let me come over here so you can get a better look at that. I'm not currently using the GFO reactor because it, I just don't need it. But yes, I run a lot of carbon and I run it all the time. I plan on changing this GFO reactor into a Chater reactor because as you heard over here, I can't grow Chato. And from the skimmer section over to the return section, um, this is the biggest part that I hate the most about this sump is that the return pump is in the back you can't see your water level you can't see your return pump you can't see anything that's going on 
and it is a CJ pump. Don't quote me, but I think it's a 3.5 CJ pump. And I have the auto top off float, and this is the auto top off line. The auto top off that I'm running is the JBJ ATO system, and this is the five gallon tank, which is my reservoir. And there's the float for the water level in the auto top off reservoir. And I have a cheap little maxi spec pump as the auto top off pump. And then we get into the return plumbing. I got an extra ball valve for um, my UV sterilizer I plan on getting and running on this system and another ball valve to control the flow that I'm flowing back to my tank. And this is the big eyesore of wires that I tried to tidy up as best I can, but it's ugly. And I hope to build a cabinet to the side to hold all my controllers and all my, all my power boxes and everything in there. And that way I can get it out from underneath to stand and make it look a lot better in here. All right, over here to my favorite piece of equipment, I think in my whole stand is my GHL standalone 2.1 Wi-Fiable doser. I love the thing. The UI for the app is super simple, super easy to dial in the parameters and everything that you want to dose it's a four channel i'm currently only using three this is my alkalinity my calcium and my magnesium and over here is the reservoirs i'm using brs mr chili mixing jugs and i did brs's uh upgrade to where you put the little fitting in there with the acrylic tube and i ran the plumbing over and back over to my dosing pump and yeah no complaints here with the GHL it is ran flawlessly I love it and that pretty much sums up everything that's going on I know I probably skipped over something but this is the current state of my setup underneath the stand and I also wanted to go ahead and showcase my door of stickers this is from everybody on Instagram everybody that has sent me a sticker I have made them a part of my stand a part of my reef tank I appreciate everybody that sent me a sticker much love and thanks all right, thanks again for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, go ahead and hit my logo. Also, turn on that notification bell to get further updates. And if you haven't seen any of these videos, go ahead and click and watch. Thank you.